Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will continue the interaction styles. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we understood that interaction is a dialogue between the system and the user, which takes place through an interface. We understood few of the common interface styles, which were command line interface, menus, natural language, question answer and query dialogue. In this video, we will understand next four interface styles, which are form fills and spreadsheets, WIMP, point and click, and three dimensional interfaces. So let's get started. First are form fills and spreadsheets. First, let us understand what are form fills. Form filling interfaces are primarily used for data entry but can also be useful in data retrieval applications. Here is an example of a form interface. The user is presented with the display resembling a paper form. For example, Google Forms. Now let us understand few of the advantages. The resemblance with an actual form makes the interface very easy to use. Hence, it is suitable for no voice users. It can also be designed with flexibility for more advanced users. Now, let us understand few of the disadvantages. Form validations must be provided to avoid unexpected data entries into the application. For example, a date picker should be provided to ensure that user enters a valid date. Similarly, data validations can be provided for fields like age. The next interface style is spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are a more sophisticated variation of form filling. The spreadsheet comprises a grid of cells, each of which can contain a value or a formula. For example, Microsoft Excel. Here is an example of a spreadsheet where projected cost and actual cost contains values whereas difference contains a formula. Now let us understand few of the advantages. The user can enter and alter values and formula in any order. The user can see the changes in real time thus making the interface more flexible and natural. Now let us understand few of the disadvantages. Learning will be required for no voice users to fully explore the capabilities of the application like complex formulas. The next interface style is the WIMP interface. Interactive computing systems are examples of the WIMP interface style, often simply called as windowing systems. WIMP stands for Windows, Icons, Menus and Pointers, sometimes also referred to as Windows, Icons, Mice and Pulldown Menus. Here is an example of windows, icons, menus and pointer. Now let us understand few of the advantages. WIMP is a default interface used in current systems like Windows and Mac OS. Hence it is very intuitive to use. And it is suitable for no voice users. It also eliminates the need to learn commands. Now, let us understand few of the disadvantages. GUI consumes memory and processing power. And the interface could be slow for more experienced users in command line interface. The next interface style is point and click. In most multimedia systems and in web browsers, virtually all actions can take place using only a single click. For example, on pointing and clicking at a city on a map, it pops up information about it. The philosophy of point and click interfaces is more closely tied to the ideas of hypertext. For example, when we point and click on an application in our mobile phones, it launches that application. Now let us understand few of the advantages. Point and click interfaces are extensively used in touchscreen interactive systems like mobile phones and tablets. Hence, they are intuitive and easy to interact with. And hence, they are suitable for no voice users. Now, let us understand few of the disadvantages. Wrong clicks can lead to unexpected outcomes which we must have experienced 
when children and elderly people use touchscreen mobile phones. The next interface style is three-dimensional interfaces. There is an increasing use of three-dimensional effects in user interfaces, the simplest one of which is where ordinary WIMP elements, buttons, scroll bars are given a 3D appearance using shading. Here we can see an example where icons appear in 3D format. The next technique is more complex where interfaces are used with 3D workspaces. The objects displayed in such systems are usually flat, but they are displayed in a perspective when at an angle to the viewer and shrink when they are further away. Here is an example of a 3D workspace. The latest technologies that use 3D interfaces are virtual reality and augmented reality. Virtual reality or VR is a simulated experience that can be similar or completely different from the real world. A VR experience can be created using different VR devices. The applications of VR include video games, 3D cinema, military or medical training. Augmented reality or AR is the integration of digital information with the user's environment in real time. Applications of AR include e-commerce and retail, where we can see how a product will look on us, while online shopping, interior design, real estate and gaming. Here is an example of AR in interior design, where we can see how a piece of furniture will look in our house. Thus, we have completed all the interface styles, which are command line interface, menus, natural language, question answer and query dialog, form fills and spreadsheets, point and click interfaces, WIMP interface and three dimensional interfaces. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye-bye.